loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique if you are new here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I take care of my hair here in Hawaii. Now this is actually going to be a little bit of a special edition hair care routine because I'm going to be showing you guys how I take care of my hair dreams hair extensions here in Hawaii. I actually got them put in before we left back in June at Bomain Hair Salon and I filmed some of it so I wanted to show you guys and catch you guys up on that process and I'll be back in one second. I just made it to Bomain Hair Salon and today both Adria and Ashley who normally do my hair are out of town so Alyssa is doing my hair today so I'm excited to try somebody new and we are doing color highlights and extensions so I'll let you know how it goes. So we just finished highlighting she's just gonna go grab gloves so she can check and see where it's at because I have a lot of hair so we end up having to foil a lot so this side's probably done before this side so to see the results. So nuts. So nice. Rose, and I was like, this is the first great day. <laughs> You're like, this is you can't get any better. Yeah, like, <laughs> add photos Rose. to Rose. extensions are in, color is done. Ah, seven hours at the salon was well worth it. Look at this. Very happy. Okay, first off, I can't believe that footage was almost two months ago. It's crazy how well they last and also how fast time freaking flies. And also it's kind of cool because I've had my hair dreams extensions now like four or five times and each of them have been in a different climate. And it's very, very interesting. Italy was honestly like the easiest because there was just enough humidity, but they just like were amazing. Utah was the easiest because it was very dry. So it literally was just like a piece of cake. And surprisingly, they're really easy here in Hawaii. And the reason is because it's so humid, everything just curls and does what it wants. So I really don't have to do anything to my hair here at all. I have not put heat to my hair once for two months which is amazing. Now taking care of the extensions here in Hawaii is easy because it's humid. So all I have to do is literally just let it air dry. They dry naturally curly. It's pretty simple. I do just have to make sure that I take good care of it because I'm in and out of the water. And I'll get to that in a second. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you guys what products and how I take care of my hair. Okay, the first way I like to take care of my hair with hair extensions in is try not to wash my hair a lot. I used to get away with like five to six days not washing my hair, but here it is hot, you sweat a little bit more, and like I said, you are swimming in the ocean. So I try to get at least two to three days of not washing my hair. The second way I like to take care of my hair, it's a big one, especially when you have hair extensions in, is to make sure you're using a good hair mask. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So one of my favorites, and I've talked about it before, I absolutely love the Domines products. This one is the Love Curl Hair Mask, and this one is great for extensions, it's great for curly hair, so hydrating. And then also, I go back and forth between these two. I use the Olaplex number three. As you can see, I'm literally out need to get another one of these but this combo has worked wonders on my natural hair as well as the extensions it keeps everything looking great so 
hydrate with a hair mask. The third way I like to take care of my hair, and I use this every time I shower, is a microfiber towel. I just like it because it doesn't put as much tension at the root of your hair, and I like that it gets all the excess water out. I literally just keep this in while I'm starting to do like my skincare routine, and just let it soak up all the water. The next way I keep my hair healthy is by using good products. I am a sucker for Davines. I've already said that, you guys know that, I've already done hair care routines using their products, but I've actually added two new ones into my routine. Um, these are the two that I've already used. This is the Davines Oi All-in-One Milk, and then I use the Oi Oil. These are like my ride or dies. I've actually just introduced these. This is the Momo Hair Potion, and it is a hydrating universal cream. And then I started using the Sue. I'm guessing that's how you say it, Sue Hair Milk, and it's a sun protective conditioning milk for sun exposed hair. So I feel like all these combined, like my hair is just so healthy. <laughs> it smells good, it is amazing for your hair. Um, anyways, I actually just got out of the shower, so I haven't applied anything. So I'm gonna quickly do that right now. Products are a must. I feel like it's really hard to find good hair products that like work with your hair. It took me so long. How I found out about Davines was my hairstylist, Drea, when she did my extension, she's like, okay, you need to use these products. So when she took the first round of Hair Dreams out, my hair had grown so much. It was just so much healthier. Brings me to my fifth and final note of how I take care of my hair with hair extensions here in Hawaii is I let it air dry. Yes, there is so much humidity in the air. The extensions dry curly, my hair dries wavy. Together, everything just matches, and I give my hair a break. Like I said before, I try not to put heat on my hair, especially if I'm just letting it air dry and just going all natural. And with the extensions in, it even allows me to do that more. I literally can just walk out the door, and within an hour, once everything's dry, everything looks how you guys normally see my hair, big and wavy. So that is pretty much everything I am doing to my hair currently with the extensions in. I am just trying to keep it as simple as possible, give my hair as much as a break as possible. But I did want to share kind of like my experience with the extensions in, in case you are curious. The first thing is they are so easy. I literally, like I said, let them air dry and it matches my natural wave, which is one of my fears that I had of getting extensions. I was like, what if it doesn't match? And then I have to do my hair every day. No, these dry exactly the same as my hair, which is amazing. I also gotten asked how the humidity affects it. I think I've already addressed that. Just like literally, it just curls even better. So I have even bigger curls, bigger hair, a bigger mop of hair here in Hawaii, which is so much fun. I love having mermaid hair. That is actually why I wanted to get them before I came to Hawaii. I just wanted like long mermaid hair, which brings me to my next little like question that people are asking me. How are they affected in the water, like with swimming? Honestly, it's super easy with the water. All I do is I like split it in two, and I either do like two low pigtail braids or I do two tight fringe braids, and there is no problem. I just go in the water and I swim. As long as they're braided, you're fine. I sleep with them braided, I swim with them braided, and the best part of keeping them braided is like when you wake up or you get it out of the water, you take out your braids and your hair is all wavy and it looks like you did your hair. Honestly, it's just a very easy process, so I just wanted to like share that with you and share how I take care of the extensions. Also, in case you guys are wondering, this is what it looks like wet and then in a few hours, it dries and looks like this photo. So you guys can see how like literally doing nothing, just putting in some products, I can achieve this look. So the humidity definitely does wonders here. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and getting ready with me, doing my hair, which is pretty much nothing, putting in some good products and letting it air dry but I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned something. If you guys have any questions about the extensions or products, anything like that, ask me down in the comments below. But that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!